Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to dominate on Evelyn here in preseason 11. And the biggest thing is you still wanna go for blue smite, not red smite, get the refill potion. And Dark Seal is more important than ever. Dark Seal is actually a lot stronger than it is in season 10 here in season 11. So Evelyn, in my opinion, is gonna be a lot more uh, Majaya, Dark Silver, Lion than ever. A lot of her core items like Spellbinder no longer exist, unfortunately. So I would say that you're still going to be, you'll have less options overall in my opinion. You still don't really want to build mana on Evelyn because she doesn't need it. So you're still going to be want to focusing on raw AP and magic penetration is ultimately going to be what you want. Another thing you should also know is the jungle monsters now all have 20 armor and 20 magic resists on all of them. So it doesn't really matter which side of the, oh I messed that up. It doesn't really matter which side of the jungle you start on, it's like the same speed. If anything, red, starting on red side is better, but ultimately on Evelyn, you want to start where you're going to get the best leash for the most part. So you clear red side and blue side just as fast. In this case, I just started bot for the better leash. QEW, we're going to be clearing this out. Once we're level four, we're going to be ganking. Something I have noticed here in season, I guess pre-season 11, it's not quite season 11 yet. AD junglers seem to have an advantage over AP junglers because they nerfed cooldown reduction. They changed cooldown reduction to being ability haste. And ability haste is the equivalent of lethality to armor penetration. Like 20 ability haste is not 20% cooldown reduction. And uh, yeah, so there's that. With that being said, you're like, well, why'd you even mention that? The reason I mention that is normally on Evelyn, I recommend Relentless Hunter, but here in Season 11, I'd actually recommend going for Ultimate Hunter over Relentless Hunter. The clears do seem to also be slightly slower, since every monster has 20 magic resist. I have noticed your clears will be a little bit slower on Evelyn, which is unfortunate. And while I messed that up, but basically your clears are about 10, 10 seconds slower from what I've tried. You'll be level... Full, after full clear, around 330, 340, you'll be at Scuttle Crab. My leash wasn't ideal and I kind of messed up my camps. You can take Scuttle Crab pretty well since you have hard CC. It scrapes off its shield when you hard CC it. So things like Kane to Master, you may have more issues. At least fighting for Scuttle Crabs and things like that. We're going to go mid. We're going to grab that. Oh, I actually messed up my charm, but we still connected our damage. I went in just like tenth of a second too soon. We're going to chug our refills. We're going to pop our oracles here. One of the, like I said, one of the best items you're going to be building on Evelyn here in Season 11 is Dark Seal. They actually buffed it, gave it better stats. And now it gives more AP than it used to, which is nice. We're actually going to pick that up first. There's no longer any complete jungle items. Like, I don't know why it's doing this. Okay, there we go. We got our Dark Seal. The new item shop, in my opinion, is very clunky. I'm not a huge fan. And I also want to go for Lich Bane. I think Lich Bane is pretty good. I'll just grab an early Sheen, and then we'll pick up a Control Word as well. Hopefully, they iron out the uh, item shop. They also changed the chat, which I'm not crazy about. I'll probably get used to the chat, but the item shop super clunky. Like, when you hover over stuff, things just pop out. It almost feels like you're playing a mobile game. I uh, don't want to sound too complainy, just trying to give you guys my perspective on it. So now that we have our Dark Seal, we're going to build up towards a Lich Bane. From what I can tell, that's one of Evelyn's best early items here in Season 11. It's only 3,000 gold compared to its Season 10, 3,200 gold, which is nice. You can get it earlier. This guy's going to get trash. Oh, get him, Twitch. Getting him, getting him. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I don't know why he's in my jungle. So it doesn't look like he actually had as many items as me there. All he had was two amp tomes. I'm not quite sure what his back route was. Ari's going to die. She has no flush. I guess I don't think she does. Nice. We're going to help him shove the wave. It's not about stealing his minions. It's more about... Just making sure they lose the, the enemies lose the minions to the turret. So you're both sharing the minions. You're both getting like 80% of the total XP. It's huge for junglers. 
If you're hitting level six on Evelyn before seven minute 30, you're on the right track. We hit it basically six minute mark, which is ahead. Laners tend to hit level six top and mid before jungles do. I'm gonna try to drag him to the bush. I'm gonna keep hitting him with my sheen procs. I'll just hit kill him with my R. If this was turbo high elo, which it's not obviously, I would have held onto my R so I could use it in another gank. But since it's clearly lower elo, it's better for me to get the gold so I can carry my team more effectively. So yeah, one of my biggest worries for this season 11 is it seems like cooldown reduction is a lot worse and it seems like it's harder to get. 10, ability haste. So if you have 60 ability haste, it's only like 35% cooldown reduction. So it seems like even if you are building a heavy cooldown reduction build, it seems like you're only ever really going to get 30% cooldown reduction max compared to you could easily get 40% cooldown reduction in season 10. So if you were playing builds or champions that were heavy, heavy, heavy CDR, I would imagine that would be a significant nerf for you. Luckily, Eve Evelyn isn't really a heavy CDR champion necessarily. With that being said, when it comes to items now with runes since items got cdr nerf i think ultimate hunter is a lot better now on her because out of all of evelyn's abilities she is very ultimate reliant especially in team fights or just trying to all in people in general so if there ever was a time to take ultimate hunter i think it's here in season 11 it's still very strong they haven't gutted it and with cooldown being changed and damaged i think it's just a really really good option I'm gonna go for this. Gonna let it pull back a bit from the bushes. I don't know if Kane's over there. All right, and now we our jungle item. After you use smite five times, you absorb it into yourself, and you, and you, like, like a tattoo, I guess. So you, now I have all of its stats permanently without it taking up an item slot. See, I timed my charm properly that time, guys. Easy. All right, we want it back. So you may say, well, why not help him push? First of all, I'm on the wrong side of the wall. I'd have to walk over there. Secondly, he already has it pushed. The minions are really far away from clashing, so he'll dump it in and she won't get any of it. All right, we're going to pick up our, our Lich Bane here in a minute. Getting really close to the Lich Bane, which is nice. And we're going to go push for Harold. Evelyn, the first dragon, isn't that important. Uh... Giving up the first two dragons for Herald is actually better on Evelyn. Evelyn in the late game is very reliant on having inhibitor pressure. That way she can kind of do backdoors, or even if she's not backdooring, there's constant pressure on them to defend it because she could be there. Pretty sure her R's down, filled a little R's up. Yeah, that's, a, that's a really nasty combo. Just held on to the W till it was ready. Help him shove it. I do Harold, he can stay mid. I can finally forward my Lich Bane. Now, there isn't a huge rush on upgrading your Dark Seal into Majaya's. Obviously, if you have a 10 stack, 10 stack Dark Seal and you feel comfortable, then yeah, go for the Mej. But other than that, leaving there's no shame in leaving your Dark Seal on 10 stacks. Like, it's a good item. It's giving you lots of stats. And uh, if, even if you never do upgrade it, you're still getting high value out of it. And, but if you never do plan on upgrading it, you will obviously be selling it in the late game for a, for a full item. At least you should be. Pantheon, no full item yet. We could fight him. I feel like he shielded really early there. I'm not even going to R. He's not worth it. I'm actually going to Herald. If guys, if Harold, if the turrets have two and a quarter or less plates, it scrapes it. So since she's, I laid the Herald. So now he can roam. That gives our team a lot of pressure. Pantheon's dead. And now we have an extra player out on the map looking for roams who they're not necessarily expecting because it's the top laner. I'm going to finish shoving this in, get one more hit off. Ideally on a Herald, you want to get a minimum of two uh, headbutts in to maximize its value. You're not getting at least two. It wasn't that great of a herald. Really big stuff. This is going to be probably our first inhibitor we get this game. 
Now that we have our Lich Bane, we're gonna go straight for our Magias, which we, apparently we can't afford. So they made Dark Seal stronger. They gave it, I think, 10 more AP, and they gave it HP. Dark Seal in Season 10 gave less AP by 5 or 10, and it didn't give any HP. It gave mana. So I think that's actually a really big buff for Evelyn, because Evelyn doesn't need mana. Mana is useless to her. The jungle item that you buy at the beginning that absorbs into you after 5 smites. I know this stuff sounds crazy just saying it out loud, but it's true. After it absorbs into you, or even before, like just after, once you buy at level 1 in base, like whenever you're in the jungle or in river, you get a bunch of mana regen, plus you have your blue buffs. You just don't need mana on Evelyn. You don't. So having the Magias give HP instead of mana is nice. And having the Dark Seal get better base stats for the same price is nice. That's kind of where uh, Evelyn's going. Is very Dark Soul reliant, and a Lich Bane's good on her now because it's cheaper, and uh, it doesn't give mana either. So no wasted stats. And now I can do that. And this game is starting to wrap up. I just gotta keep taking the objectives. Echo's dead, so I'm gonna take this camp while I'm here. I'll pop a plant. My R's up. Fiddle's R's down. I could sneak into the pit. They can't see me. They can't see me with that vision. It doesn't come into the pit. It gets cut off like, ooh, they just warded though. They know. I'm gonna ping that. They have it warded. I just killed Echo, so they can't necessarily contest. Uh, I charmed a little early, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna R, she's gonna kill Twitch, and then she's gonna get Triumphant Healing and then maybe kill me. Looks like she has a full item. I'm not 100% familiar with every single item, especially the AD items yet, but I'm kind of learning more and more. I know a lot more about the AP items right now than the AD items. I'm just checking to kind of see people's power levels, if you will. It's good to check them when you're fighting, like, oh, who has a full item, who doesn't kind of thing, because I'm sitting on full item, Lich Band plus a 19 mesh. Uh, sorcery shoes. The shoes are basically all the same. I don't think they really tweaked anything on them. They just, they changed the pictures of almost everything. That's something to keep in mind. Keep in mind, just because everything has a different picture, guys, for the most part, doesn't mean it has different stats necessarily. Void staff is like the exact same. I think it's very similar at least. We're going to be pushing after Lich Bane. You have a few options. If they have several assassins, like a Kiana Zed, or if they, let's say they, especially if they have two lethality assassins, like a Zed Kha'Zix, you're pretty much always going to be going Hourglass next item or Dead Man's Plate. Do they still have Dead Man's Plate? Dead. Yeah, they do. That's solid. This game. I don't think they can really kill me with their comps, so I'll just be pushing for a uh, Robadon, especially if you have a bunch of Magia stacks or a bunch of Dark Seal stacks. After you, you have your Lich Bane, then, then Robadon is almost always a good option. Or let's say if they have two or more tanks and you'll be going Void Staff, which is also good. Oh, I just killed myself. Holy shits. Wow, I, oh my god, guys. That was the worst play I've done in my life. Nobody saw that. Nice R from the Fiddlesticks. I think he kills Ari there. Okay, it turned out, guys. That was. <laughs> I honestly thought I had more damage than that, but apparently not. Does she have HP? Oh, she has Merc. Is it she had Merc treads? That's why. I was gonna say I was like, dude, I have sorcery shoes, which shreds magic resist. Yeah, I should have. Since all the pictures are different, I'm still kind of like that. Kind of looks like the old Lucidity boots since they're blue. Getting used to the pictures is brutal. Absolutely brutal. I'll be going for that next Herald as it comes up here. I can kill Ari right as she comes back to lane as well. Oh, I'll kill this guy again. You should have just pressed R. I'm pretty sure you had R. I'm out of full mesh now. Super, super fed. If you don't need to use R, then don't. Especially, I'm already full of mesh, so I'm not really worried about who gets the kill. 
I'll just go for the Herald, like killing her. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't want them to get shut down on Fiddle. Alright, I gotta run from this. Good fear from the Fiddle there. When's his R up? 27 seconds. Just pressed Alt, left click. Looks like she has a... Uh... He just got something. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what item that is. Something happened. He got a big shield. I guess that's kind of like Phantom Dancer. We'll go ahead and grab the Herald though. We need to start wrapping this game up. I'll lay it top. We still have time to lay it top and get Dragon. I might actually hold on to it for a bit since... Uh, I don't want to lay it while my ult's on a cooldown because then if someone steps up, posts up to me, I won't necessarily be able to kill them. So I might actually hold on to it for a little bit. Otherwise, I'd just go up there, kill someone, and lay it. Ooh, it's paint. That sucks. I'll farm, farm into dragon. I can't kill R. She just saw me on a pink and I don't have R. It's just a bad idea. Yeah, they're, they're trying to collapse around that right now. And you may say, well, why aren't you maxing your W? They don't have any tanks. They really don't. If they have zero tanks, there's really no reason to max W. There just isn't. Ultimate Hunter, I think, is panning out quite nicely. Getting that cooldown reduction on my R is huge, huge, huge. It's only on an 86 second cooldown at level 2, which is nice. Gonna run past her. She's dead. I'll pull back here for a second, heal up. Looks like they killed Ari. I'll let him hit it for a second. I need to heal up a little bit more for the echo. I had to R. I, I literally have no smite. I even R'd a bit late there, to be honest. Put the W on Samira, Echo's gonna R. She's dead. Echo's hitting me with something. Dude, that Fiddle CC is so insane. Yeah, this someone's on, has the name King Sticks. That's not me. Playing on the PBE, but <laughs> that's Nunstar. He's a goose. Yeah, I'm really liking this build. I've tried a few of them on Evelyn, and Dark Sail into Lich Bane is the best from what I've tried. I don't know why Singe is even over here farming wolves. Flipper, dude. What? What? What's happening? <laughs> what? All right, I I inted a little bit there. I will say Robidon is more expensive. I'm pretty sure it used to be 3,600. They upped the price. They lowered the price on most things. They increased it on some things. Like Rylai's was used to only be 2,600. I wonder what their thought process on that was. Seems like a lot of strong items like Archangel Staff, they actually, and like for the most part, anything they made cheaper, they made a lot weaker as well. So, but with anything it, like the cost to increase, it almost seems like they just left it the same. So overall they're nerfing items. Yeah, I just go for Robin on next. On Evelyn, none of the mythic items are that amazing on you. Any of them that give mana from what I've seen, like Leandre's is pretty useless on Evelyn. No HP, only 80 AP. Eh. Ludin, same thing. E Everfrost was a bit of an exception because it gives HP. And uh, it gives you a snare, but it's still not ideal on Evelyn. I think... The uh, hex tech or the rift maker is where it's at on her. Combat three wave for each second combat for each second in combat. No, all right, I take it back. On a villain for your mythics, from what I've seen, hex tech and night harvester are best. Blue smite to speed up. Dude, that, those Talia rocks hurt. She's not kidding. She really is throwing rocks. All right. I'm going to drop Peril. I want to shove this down. Got 
got him. That <laughs> twitch heal though. I'm gonna dump this herald in. Normally before you lay herald, you want to get at least one kill. That way they can't just post up and kill it. Got him. Loving that Lich Bane and loving that mesh. Like I said, the mythics on Evelyn aren't that amazing. I would push more for, like I said, Hextech or uh, Hextech or Night Harvester. I think Hextech Rocket Belt. <laughs> they had to change the names of everything, I swear. It used to be Proto Belt, but Hextech Rocket Belt, I think is best. Getting extra magic penetration on Eve is big. You want AP, magic penetration, mobility, and tankiness if you need it. Where the fuck did she go? <laughs> I was like, bro, I charmed her from back here. I thought she just walked back, but she's like, just, I don't even know where she went there. Vision. It's crazy. Gonna heal up. I need to get out of here. I'm pretty fast though. I'm moving at 457. Oh, Fiddle's running a weird way. <laughs> he messed up his flash. Oh, man, that's funny. Yeah, I'm actually moving really, really fast. It's because the Lich Bane is 10%. So it seems like Spellbinder. It gave 10% movement speed last season, and uh, Lich Bane only gave like 5 or 8%. So it almost seems like they gave... It's almost like they combined Spellbinder a little bit into the Lich Bane, just like evening it out, give you a little bit of movement speed. I will miss Spellbinder though. I don't think they should have removed it. I think it was a reasonable item for the price, and it definitely had its use cases. A little bit sad about that. I just don't think there's anything to gain from removing it. Because there's definitely some champions that build it. It makes me a little sad. I got 25 stacks. on Lich Bane. Refills down. Oh, what the fuck? I, was, I didn't even have my hand on my keyboard. Oh, boy. We'll puppet guard the dragon. We'll clear this out. Alright, we need to get out of here. Doing a lot of damage. We'll get our Hextech Rocket Belt here in a minute. It, get, it makes all of your completed items, all your legendary items. It gives them magic penetration, which is nice. Yeah, it grants all your legendary items five magic pen. Very, very cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I think Evelyn definitely has a place here in Season 11, so for any of you Evelyn mains or any aspiring aspiring Evelyn mains, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Even though 80 champions are overtuned right now in the jungle, I think Evelyn will have a spot if you follow my build. Dark Sill into uh, Lich Bane. And then pretty much into Sork Shoes and Rob it on. My ult's on cooldown. I have right now... 25% cooldown reduction on my R. But I have zero CDR in general. Because they removed CDR from like the majority of items. And the items they left it on, since it's ability haste, it's not even as good as CDR. It's like fractional. Fractional with fractions. Oh god, that has some range to it. It's time for me to get mine here in a second. All I had to do was press R there. If I pressed R while Pantheon was midair on his stun, I would have lived. That was my misplay. My slow fingers got me there. We're gonna sell our refill. We'll pick up our Hextech Rocket Belt. Yeah, those, they go way farther than Proto Belt. Proto Belt was almost like an, like an Annie Q. The Hextech Rocket Belt is more like a Syndra stun, dude. It goes forever. Or I should say like a Syndra W where she throws the basketball, you know? So we have the 10% movement speed from Mesh. 
because we have 10 plus stocks and then we have the 10% from Lich and yeah it seems like items in general it's hard to find high AP items now the spellbinder was a 120 item before so now it's like there's really no AP item that gives 120 or more besides uh Majai's if you have a stack or Robidon of course but Robidon's super expensive They have an open inhib. I don't think we even have to engage on them. I think we just take the inhib and force them to come to us to begin with. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just super, super squishy. I'm not quite sure what, let me see what Pantheon has because I'm confused. They kind of all these pictures kind of look the same. They're all like slanted with the same color scheme, kind of purplish red. Hitting a champion with two separate attacks or abilities within 1.5 seconds. Movement speed. Why is its passive such a paragraph? Okay, so he's got a maw. That's the issue. He has a maw Malmordius. All right, understood. Echo just has like the same stuff I have. Kinda, it's got like the Robin on. Obviously a lot less items overall. What do I get next? I get some Void Staff. Void Staff's still really good on Evelyn. I'll just get a Pink Wood since I can't afford anything really. Looks like she's building Magic Resist. They all have Magic Resist. Merc Treads, Merc Treads, Merc Treads. I'm gonna go poke the inhibs with my Lich Bane because team fighting them is kind of annoying. Uh, with the Pantheon stun and then the Aria R to chase me down, it's just so much pressure. Our team fight realistically should be better, but I think their players like Twitch way outscales what they have. So does Zerath, but. I'd actually like my teammates to stay mid. Fiddle six is gonna get himself killed. That's fine. I need the enemies to push out is what I need. Could potentially kill Ari here if I play it right. I have my Hextech Proto Belt or Hextech Rocket Belt. Got the kill and I'm really fast because the mesh and the Lich Bane, that's nice. Still moving at 457 with zero Relentless Hunter, only Ultimate Hunter. I like that, a bit of a limit test with these new items. Uh, we'll wait. We just need to maintain pressure. We have Drag Soul coming up. I think she lost her, I don't know if it's a fan dancer or what, but I put something on cooldown hopefully. Yeah, I'm gonna cut her off here. Got her. Just use that wall, that little bump there is just like any other wall. This is my Lich Bane, but with my Qs. I'm gonna, I, you wanna, in general, keep the minion wave by you so you can E it for the speed up. I'm moving at 523 with the speed up. This pink word's a pain in the ass, I'll tell you that right now. Ari's, I don't want her to charm me. Her R is gonna be on a really low cooldown. She most likely has ultimate hunter and I don't know how much CDR she has. Or I should say ability haste, A-H. I just have no clue. Still haven't used my, have I used my proto belt? Maybe we'll get to use it here in a minute. We'll e the minions, run away. This is what Evelyn looks like late game, if you can build in hibs. This is why taking heralds is important. You see all the pressure I provided for my team. We still have every single turret. Even if the enemies can win in 5v5s, it's hard for them to push out of their base. And we'll get the next dragon, which will give us the dragon soul. And then uh, pretty much GG. I just have to stay alive and not get caught, and my team should uh, not group on me. If they group on me, we lose, because if, if we fight, <laughs> the whole point of the split push is to avoid 5v5 situations. Oh man, they got so many pinks, it's so frustrating. I thought that was a good fiddle R, I guess he just didn't have any follow up from the teammates.
Smacked her with a big R. I still have my Hextech Proto Belt. Getting my mesh stacks back after running it down. Mm, I can't fight him. It's too much. It's too big. I do need help with these pink wards though. Evelyn's attack speed isn't very impressive. I need to see where Echo's at. We need to get Zerath out of here. He's gonna die. He can't. He can't do what I do. I move in at 457. He's only moving at 385. She's gone. <laughs> Absolutely deleted. Absolutely gone. So we're sitting on R. We have our protobelt still. What? What's its cooldown? 40 seconds. It's not very long. I don't know if he saw me there. I don't think he did. They all have Lich Ban- uh, like Banshee's Vels, I guess. They all seem to. We need a side- a side lane to be pushing. Sin's just- <laughs> He's busy playing against the jungle camps. He's got 300 CS. Once you have all three inhibs, you get double, uh, super minions, so... Having three inhibitors is... Basically better than having five. Well, there's only three, but you know what I'm trying to say here. It's exponentially better to have three than it is two. Yeah, this is what... I'm, there's no reason for us to be mid right now. Might as well just push this. I'm gonna kill her. Ooh, Ari's here. She almost just nicked me. They're, they're, they're laying these pinks. Since it's not the true late game, everyone still has item slots for pinks. In the true late game, they won't be able to do this. She's gone. Yeah, we just need to get this turret. Getting this turret's gonna be huge. Not only does the turret give them vision on me, but it protects that juicy, juicy inhib. Alright, we gotta back off now. Our W's on cooldown. Our teammates, well, you know, they're doing stuff. <laughs> But we just gotta play around our cooldowns, basically. Mm, hit it with a few nicks. And their base will start to crumble. Once we get Dragon Soul, we may even be able to 5v5 them. Which will be pretty cool. I'm actually out of mana here. One of the few times you run out of mana on Evelyn is when you're hard shoving minion waves. I can get it back really fast, so just being in the jungle. See that 22 per second? That's why I say you don't need mana items on Evelyn, it's a waste. Because when you're, whenever you're in the jungle or in the river, you heal it back so fast. Regenerate it back, I should say. She's gonna walk up for the ward, and I'll kill her. Uh, she hasn't walked up yet. There she is. Got her. It's huge. Yeah, dragon then 5v5. If uh, our team was a little closer, we could try to force the end, but they still have a base turret, which is going to make it challenging. Might as well just take play it safe. Don't throw away our shutdown golds. And uh, yeah, just wrap this game up. I really don't think there is a better item Evelyn can rush as a full item right now other than Lich Bane. Lich Bane's just so inexpensive for what it does for her. And its stats are so strong right now. I could find another pick. My R is about to be off cooldown. Yeah, Ari wasted her R just on my W. And I guess the Wrath R as well. Don't know what Singe is doing. I can't really follow that up very well. They do outrange me. It's kind of hard for me to get in there if they already see me. Dude, he takes no damage. Good thing Twitch wrapped him up, and I think that's it, guys. That is how I've uh, been playing Evelyn here in the preseason 11. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.